Hi everyone, I'm Bria and welcome to my channel, Tales of Tales. So today I am going to be reading Dark Academia while also trying to dress in the Dark Academia aesthetic for a week. And when I mean a week, we're gonna go with just five days because I don't know how long I'll be able to pull this off. But if you clicked on this video, it's likely that you probably already know what Dark Academia is. But for those of you who don't, Dark Academia is a popular academic aesthetic that revolves around classic literature, the pursuit of self-discovery, and a general passion of knowledge and learning. Romanticizing education and moments in life is the core appeal of the aesthetic. Making grandiose statements and wishes for success is a common text post subject. So that was just one of the many definitions that I saw online. Um, there are a lot of different ways to explain dark academia and some of the ones that i read did include some things that are a little bit harmful but that's not what we're focused on today <laughs> we're just focused on reading some dark academia and trying to see if that fashion aesthetic is something that will work for me before we get into it i'll just give some quick examples of the dark academia fashion aesthetic so you know we have a lot of dark colors. As far as pattern goes, I feel like there's a lot of plaid. Um, you know, we have a lot of structured pieces. So there's a lot of blazers, a lot of like structured mini skirts, a lot of trousers. So I have a lot of these pieces already in my wardrobe. So I think it's just me being able to style these pieces into this dark academia vibe. Additionally, I also have a friend coming into town. So you guys also get to go along with us as we just explore Dallas a bit. We're gonna go to some restaurants, some coffee shops, and just explore. And I'll make sure to leave everywhere we go down in the comment section, just so that if you guys are in the Dallas area, you guys have some good recommendations. Now that you have an idea of dark academia and a little snippet of what the fashion sense is, let's get into the dark academia books because that's probably why you're really here. So in this vlog, I will be reading Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I'm doing some research about dark academia books. This is one that constantly popped up. Um, and I think mainly because it's set at Yale I do know there is like some creepy happenings going on. There's some secret societies going on. The only other thing I really know about the book is that a lot of people who have read Lee Bardugo's other works don't really enjoy this book. Not sure why that is, but we'll see, I guess. So let's get to it. Okay, so today is day one and my outfit today, I like it, don't love it. I'll show you the entire outfit. So brown blazer with just like a kind of like short dress with some tights and boots. When I checked the weather this morning, it was actually like kind of cold. But by the time we got to the coffee shop, it was kind of warm. So my original outfit actually included this like white turtleneck, but I took it off before we even got out of the car to go to the coffee shop because it was hot. But I do feel like with this turtleneck, the outfit feels a little bit more like dark academia. So I'm gonna put this on so you guys see the original, original outfit. Okay, so it is Tuesday and before I show you today's outfit, I do want to talk about Ninth House for a second. I am like 70 pages in and I'm enjoying it so far and just like for my knowledge of Ninth House, I know a lot of people have had like a lot of mixed reviews on it because a lot of people really enjoy um, like Lee Bardugo's writing like with the Shadow and Bone series. 
Um, but I recently read the Shadow and Bone series and it was not my favorite. I really didn't like it that much. Like I said, I'm only 70 pages in. It's, um, it's a slow go for me, like while I'm reading it. It took me like an hour and a half to read those 70 pages just to make sure that I was understanding things that were going on. But it definitely fits, it fits into the dark academia theme because they're at Yale and they're talking about dead bodies and stuff. So, oh my God, my arm is hurting. So yeah, I will keep you guys updated on my reading. And right now, me and Courtney are going to go to get some coffee to fit the dark academia vibes and also get lunch while we're out and then come back and work from home a little bit more. Also, it is only day two and I'm actually realizing how hard it is to like put these outfits together. Not because I don't have the staples of a dark academia wardrobe because i do actually um but the styling is kind of what i'm struggling with because my traditional style i would say lends a little bit more like feminine and sometimes with like the cut of this like the cut of these garments and then like the style of dark academia it's a little bit more boxy I guess or at least for the pieces that I have so when I pair them together it lends like a little bit more masculine and there's nothing wrong with that but it's like not a style that I'm used to wearing and seeing on my body so yeah I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone a little bit but we'll see I feel like some interesting outfits are gonna happen in the rest of the week so day three I feel like I'm succeeding more at the reading than the fashion part of it which is really surprising to me so fun fact that nobody asked for is that I actually majored in fashion merchandising in college and I feel like on a regular basis I have a decent style but this one's I feel like it's tripping me up but before I show you the outfit that I have today we'll talk a little bit about ninth house i know that i haven't given you guys a synopsis of this and there's a reason for that because <laughs> i feel like there are four or five different storylines or like plot lines happening in this book and like the best that i could probably give you is this girl named alex is um, attending Yale but she didn't really like get in on like scholar and merit she got in because she can see ghosts so she gets recruited into this like secret society um, at Yale to help them like control slash like fight off these ghosts during these like rituals that they have so there that's one piece of the story another part of the stories that she's like a sole survivor of this like mass murder you just don't know how she really plays into it yet we're like slowly getting some additional pieces and we keep going between like present time while she's at Yale and like the past but the past is both like her childhood and then like the past when she first got to Yale like I said there's a lot going on there's even more that I could say about some of the other additional storylines that are going on but it would just be too much um so that's like my one negative about the book so far is that there's so many things going on and i feel like usually in books there's like one maybe two things that we're focusing on but i will say that i'm enjoying it like it's intriguing me because i want to know where all the plot lines end up and how they like all tie into each other because they're gonna have to right right so I'm less, a little less than halfway through. So I try to set a reading goal for myself of like 90 pages a day so that I can actually finish this in five days. I'm not sure if that's going to happen though. 
Okay, and so now I'll show you guys my outfit. Plain turtleneck with these plaid pants. I wouldn't know what shoes to wear with these. I probably wear sneakers or something, which I know most of the time people wear like Mary Janes and stuff like that with these outfits. Um, but I have big feet for my height and Mary Janes are already like kind of clunky. I would look like I'm walking around in clown shoes. And I do like this outfit because I get something I eventually could wear to work whenever I do go back into the office. But yeah, I'm not mad at it. So today's adventure with Courtney and I was not a big one. We actually have some work to do today. Um, but we did stop at Starbucks and I got, what did I get? The new like sugar, sugar cookie almond latte. And it's pretty good, but I don't know if I'd get it again. And my advice, is if you are going to get that drink i got it with a little less sweetener because i just felt like it was going to be super sweet and i was correct i got three pumps and my first sip was like a really bad sugar rush and i got it without the sprinkles because like who wants to chew on their coffee you know what i mean i will check back in when i have some more reading updates um and so now enjoy like a montage of just like probably me and Courtney working or just like bullshitting. I don't know. You'll see. <laughs> to show you guys my outfit first today because I actually kind of like it this is it brown pants I got from the thrift store turtleneck and like this oversized jacket I will say though I am like slightly colorblind with some dark colors so I'm not sure if this is black or navy but it looks black enough to work with the black turtleneck so there's that. I went out earlier and I just wore it with sneakers. also thought about kind of tucking it in like that too, um, but I just ate so don't want to emphasize that too much. But Courtney and I went to Kava today for lunch and you haven't been to Kava, it's so good. Hopefully you have one where you're at. Um, we used to go there all the time in New York and it's just nice that there's one in Dallas. And then yesterday we went to this place called hawkers that is new um in dallas and it's supposed to be like asian street food and it is it was so good it was so good so if you're ever in the dallas area definitely try out hawkers and fun fact where hawkers is is where vanilla ice shot his music video for ice ice baby learn that reading article speaking of reading let's talk about ninth house quickly I read another like 80 pages so we're still just like in the thick of the story and there's not really that much for me to update you on but I was talking to a friend and I realized that if I hadn't liked this I would have probably been okay with never picking up another Lee Bardugo book but I am enjoying this it is still a little chaotic to me but I'm enjoying that there's so much going on and I'm just really hoping that at the end it's like some type of big like poof. I'm like literally like about halfway through it so still have a good chunk left and my goal was to originally be done with this by tomorrow really don't know if I'm gonna finish this tomorrow
Okay, so I have a little bit of a secret. And the secret is that it's not day five, it's like day 13. <laughs> I'm still gonna show you guys this last outfit, even though I did finish the book about like a week ago. Um, I just never really wrapped the video up and that fifth day that I was supposed to be showing you guys an outfit, which was like a Friday, things just didn't go as planned. So I'm gonna show you guys my outfit and then I will wrap up my final thoughts about Ninth House and this whole experience of me trying to dress in dark academia. This lighting, kind of cool, but also not what I wanted. Okay, so I definitely feel like I had to fit in like a sweater vest of some sort. This is what I came up with. And I actually think that this is probably my favorite outfit of the entire video because I would actually legitimately wear this out. Okay, so let's talk about Ninth House. I'll start by saying that if you're looking for a fun and like super fantastical like world, this book probably isn't for you. This book is actually pretty dark and I'll start this like overview off by saying that definitely look up the trigger warnings. Um, if you have things that you're concerned about, just make sure that you look them up because there's a lot of triggering things in here so just be mindful of that but I actually did enjoy that this was on the darker side I feel like sometimes when I read YA I want the story to be darker and because this is like a new adult or like you know an adult book it is able to explore some of those like darker themes and you know darker storylines I think I enjoy it because you know if magic is real or if it were real then it's not always going to be like this fun, you know, whimsical type of magic. Like there's always going to be a dark side to it. In this book, you know, it's the reality of like what would happen if magic existed. So I like the fact that this story is like based in reality. Um, it just made my reading experience a little bit more enjoyable because I could picture this like actually happening. So this book is technically categorized as like an urban fantasy, I think, but the easiest way for me to think about it in my head, based on like all of the plot lines that are going on in here, I thought of it more of as like a dark murder mystery almost, um, because there's just like a lot of things that our main character has to figure out. And the last thing I'll talk about um, in here are the characters. So. Alex, our main character, I actually liked her and I'm surprised by that because usually in any type of like fantastical book, sometimes it's easy for me to dislike the characters mainly because they're either really boring, like all of the interesting characters or like the side characters and you know, it's, you know, we're focused on like the mystery and the plot, whatever, where the main character kind of just gets lost and doesn't really have a real personality and isn't interesting. But I feel like Alex, it's shown in this book that she's like lived a lot of life. And I think she can acknowledge that she's not a perfect person. She definitely has her flaws. Um, I like her sense of humor. So I really did enjoy her character. The other character that I really enjoyed was Darlington. And I like Darlington because he, his character just like surprised me a bit. I think what I was expecting of him going into the book is not necessarily like what what I got from him and I'm interested to see how his character evolves going into like the rest of the series and I would say that these characters would probably fall on like the morally gray scale they're probably on like slightly opposite ends of the scale but I would consider both of them morally gray yeah overall I definitely enjoyed this book um if you're looking for something that's a little darker if you're looking for something that has like a school setting something that's definitely dark academia vibes then i recommend this one as long as you read the trigger warnings first overall i gave it a four out of five stars definitely enjoyed it and we'll be picking up the sequel to the rest of the series so overall my experience in this dark academia world. Um, I definitely enjoyed the book, like I said. The the outfits on the other hand, the fashion, I'm not sure if I'm considering it a 
a fail or a win i consider it a fail because i feel like i had so much trouble getting the outfits together but i kind of consider it a win because one of the reasons i was like doing this video is trying to figure out if i like liked the dark academia style and if it's something that i could integrate into my wardrobe and i'm realizing the answer is probably kind of <laughs> so i think i have a lot of pieces that fit into dark academia but i'm not sure how i feel about the entire like aesthetic like on my body and you know i just i just don't know if the entire aesthetic is for me and that's okay because everything doesn't have to be for me you know so let me know down below in the comments how you feel about dark academia um what outfit that i wore was your favorite um have you read ninth house just let's have a little chit chat in the comments if you enjoyed this video please leave a thumbs up and if you made it to the end you're my favorite as always and i hope you have a good day bye